it's not like a not like a table dance at like a the, it's a it's a dance that makes a table they're not like dancing on the table the table it like makes rain the dance it's not like you know what i'm talking about the t table dance but in any case this is going to be batting average for 2022 i think it was right now note that you can see these data sets are in a decimal format you can put them in a percent format right uh, but sometimes when we do our 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 uh, norm dot dist it's useful to see them as whole numbers so i might i'm going to multiply these times i'm going to insert a, ta a tab here insert i'm going to multiply these times a hundred so so this is going to be i'll say it's the same thing batted average uh batting average uh, BA 1920 again batting average 1920 and, but I'll say multiply times 100 this equals this times 100 and then let's add a decimal uh, home tab number group uh, actually do I need to add decimals no I'll keep it like that I'll put an H after it for whole numbers okay and then and the reason it won't let me do a decimal is because it's in general format so let's actually select these cells let's select the entire worksheet actually i'm going to select the entire worksheet right click format the cells and i'm going to make them currency negative numbers bracketed no dollar sign and let's add the two decimals so now i'm going to say okay so now we can see them a little bit more uniform numbers Let's do the same thing over here. I'm going to call this BA 2022H for whole numbers is what I was thinking, or I'm not even sure that's the W whole number. But this is going to be this times 100. Okay, so now we've now we're we're represent representing it not at 0.25 or 25 percent, but rather uh, 24.6, which represents the same thing, 24. Point, you know, six percent. Okay, so so we can compare the data now this way. I can look and sit and look at the look at the data comparisons uh, for the two. I can try to sort them and whatnot and look at them this way and compare them. But it might be useful to then build some tables with it. Now, uh, another thing I I could do is make a histogram with my data thus far. So I can select this data set, and so notice one data set is longer than the other. That also causes some difficulties. But that's what statistics, you know, is kind of for to kind of help to deal with these kind of difficulties. I'm going to say uh, sh control back to get back to the top. Let's insert uh, charts and make a histogram. So I'll say this is the histogram for the uh, 1920. So 1920. And you can see we have some outliers. You know, this one we maybe could have. Uh, trim, trimmed off possibly, but you, and, but you could see that it's hovering around the 22. So we'll say, okay, it looks like it's somewhat symmetrical. So I'm going to say that probably could lend itself to a, uh, a bell curve that we'll generate. And then this data over here, let's do it for this one, 2022, control shift down, control backspace back up to the top, insert charts, histogram boom and so we have that one and this one has all of these buckets out here because we had some more kind of outliers on the high end let's say if i sorted this from z to a yeah we had these so it probably should have trimmed off maybe the 75 uh out there but in any case uh, you can see it's somewhat it's it's somewhat still kind of a bell-shaped type of curve. So we're going to try to use our analysis of uh, the bell curve to analyze these data sets because that'll help us to give us uniform things like the z-scores and whatnot that we can make comparisons with. So 2000, let's say this is going to be 2022. So I'm going to say, all right, so now we'll see if we can start to build some stats with this stuff and our tables so if i'm going to go back on over i'm going to say all right let's do let's make a skinny h 
and we're going to do our calculations for like uh, let's say this is going to be our data and we're going to have 1920 and 2022 I'm going to make this general formatting so I don't have a number format home tab numbers drop down general and then selecting the top bit because I want it to be a header home tab uh, font group black white I'll center just these two maybe home tab uh, alignment and center so we're going to do the mean we'll do the standard deviation the median possibly the mode I don't know if that will be helpful but let's try it we'll say this is the mean equals the average for the 1920 so I'm going to say aver average of this information control shift down and enter so now we've got 